Yesterday here at 530, we brought you the story of Jessica, a 15 year old honor roll student from a good home in the suburbs who found herself caught up in the dark world of child sex trafficking. Now get this law enforcement right here found 115 victims under the age of 20 in our area alone last year. So how did the traffickers do it? How do they get a grip on these young women? Well, what happened to Jessica is something every parent should hear in this Two on Your Side original. So I was a beautifully naive suburban mom. Nicole was a mother of an outgoing 15-year-old named Jessica who had a loving family, spent years playing soccer, and did well in school. But after running away and finding herself at a homeless shelter for teenagers, she was approached by a woman who offered to be her friend and protect her. She was out on the streets. I'm going to keep you safe. I'll take care of you. Let's go to McDonald's. Predators start the grooming process either in person or through social media by simply getting to know the child, learning their weaknesses and vulnerabilities, their likes and dislikes. Are their parents too strict? Well, the predator promises fun and excitement. Look, you're out of the house. You have no rules. Let's go get drunk. Have you ever gotten drunk? No, I've never gotten drunk. Let, you know, we can stay up till midnight, we can smoke pot, we can do all these things that she had never experienced. Alcohol and drugs are usually the gateway that quickly leads to rape and sexual exploitation, sometimes involving the child drunk or high creating pornography that can then be used as blackmail to coerce them into more sex acts. All the parents feel like this can never happen to my child until it does. Kelly Galloway is the director of Mona's House. It's a residence in Buffalo that helps local women who are struggling to overcome the psychological damage caused by sex trafficking. She has heard over 120 local women tell how they were lured in. They don't know that they're being targeted because the face that they see is this, this 15 year old guy and you know he's being really nice, he's calling me pretty, he's telling me that he'll buy me things. Predators are master manipulators and teenagers inexperienced and emotionally immature. He used everything that we had ever taught her against her. In Jessica's case, her trafficker had asked her about her religious upbringing. He used words in the Bible and, and told her that this was God's will and that um, she needed to leave her parents, that we, you know, he, everything that we had ever told her um, he twisted and made it um, work in, in his favor. Jessica was eventually rescued and freed after law enforcement found her being sold on a website known for marketing underage girls for sex called Backpage.com. But for most victims, breaking free from a trafficker is extremely difficult because of threats of violence against them or someone they love and also through shame and humiliation. It's because that psychological abuse has happened. You, nobody else is going to want you. I'm the only person that's going to want you. No, if, if people knew the things that you did. I think that's one of the tactics that a trafficker will use is to tell them that their family um, won't want them back, that society won't accept you after this. Do you feel that most parents are kind of in denial about how vulnerable their kids are? I've never met one parent that says, you know what, my child is vulnerable on social media. Galloway says parents need to have frank conversations with their kids, but also install apps that monitor every single social media message their child sends or receives. Let's give them the information and tell them exactly how trafficking happens. Tell them that it can happen to them, but because we don't want it to happen, we're gonna put these measures in place. If I could roll the clock back and allow you five minutes with your daughter before all this happened, what would you say to her? Just let her know that no matter what she does, ever in her life, she's loved. So that she maybe wouldn't have felt that way she did 47 days later. Now, if you suspect at all that someone you know could be a victim of sex trafficking, call the National Trafficking Hotline. The number is 1-888-373-7888.
They take calls seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The story is also available on our website, WGRZ.com. Please share it with your kids.